Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be working on another barn owl piece, but this one's in a bit of a different style than what I'm used to. Uh, so I'm trying to be more conscious of my use of color, and I really like monochromatic or even duochromatic pieces. For this painting, I chose my shadows to be very much in the purplish pink realm, and my highlights to be a very strong yellowish orange. So I had a lot of fun painting this. I've decided to go with the title uh, for this piece as Edge of My World. Kind of has a bit of a backstory in my mind, which I'm not fully sure about yet. It was kind of one of those pieces that kind of developed some personality of its own as I started painting it. So it's still kind of telling me its story. So like usual, I created my background, which is just basically a dilute wash of acrylic paint to give it some sort of ground that isn't, you know, stark white. Um, and this helps me develop both shadows and highlights right off the get-go. And then from there, I put on my sketch and then I went in with oils. For my underpainting, I like to work a lot wet into wet. It's just kind of nice to like blend those colors a little bit. And then typically once my underpainting is dry, I will jump in with smaller brushes or other tools and then start up on some more detailed layers. This is another piece that I refuse to use any black paint on, so you can see the first couple layers in the darkest areas are not very dark at all. Um, so I had to let the painting dry and then do a couple more layers of burnt umber and a couple different tones of purple to get that nice dark color that you'll see at the end. recently picked up a, a tube of magenta oil paint and I'm in love with the color. It works so well with like orange and other purple tones so the kind of pinky purple tone that you see here is that magenta and I can't wait to use it again. It's so pretty. <laughs> And like most of my recent paintings, I kind of jumped in with this silicone tool that I have and start layering on some more thick paint on the dry areas to kind of give it a sort of pixelated look. Um, I really need to pick up a couple more of these tools. I think some in wider sort of brushes, for lack of a better word, will be fun. And I know you can get some ones with different textures, so I'm definitely going to have to experiment with those more. Gotta throw in a couple of details and the high points of the face and just to add some points of interest. Typically when I'm creating details like this I'll kind of go in with like a very pale, in this case pale orangey white, 
and even though it kind of is like a stark contrast against the like the rest of the orange base of those highlighted areas once that white is dry usually i'll go in with a glaze so in this case i kind of did a yellowy orange glaze and then kind of bring those down a little bit so they're not so plain white um, but they still show some nice detailed highlights but they just match the rest of the painting a lot better I think the eyes are definitely my favorite part of this painting. I didn't really know what I was doing with them, but I really like the way that they turned out. see here starting to do a little bit of glazing in some of the darker areas and then I pick up some more on my brush and start going to town a little bit more. Usually I'll just kind of lay my glaze down and then I'll go in with a dry brush and just kind of smear it out a little bit so it softens the edges and makes it a little more smooth. And we're done! So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and you like seeing this crazy little sunset style barn owl. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you want to see more videos like this type, please subscribe. Thanks guys! So I want to start branching off into the realm of true tutorials for different styles of painting and subjects and techniques, so basically kind of whatever I'm particularly skilled at. So if there's anything that you guys would like to see in particular, please let me know. So leave a comment down below and so I'm trying to gather a couple ideas of things that I could start making tutorials on. So spreading my knowledge that I've gained throughout the years of just practice and trial and error. So if you have any ideas, please leave a comment down below. Thanks!